Hey everybody, Robbie Oz here, and I'm very excited. I have a super special guest today. B Danto is joining me. Uh, joining me today, we're going to run through um, the team selections for the Fan Craze Flash today. Um, so I'm really excited to have him. Thank you for joining us, my man. Um, all right, first. All right, so let's jump over to this. Now, with the licensing, do you think that's why they're not using the proper name, like the proper abbreviations? Yeah, yeah that, that's 100% the, the reason. Um, I think Philosopher Prince put that in the Discord early days. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, a couple of people put in there, oh, why haven't you used CSK for Chennai? And he said, well, yeah, I can't. It's a licensing issue. Yeah, okay, there you go. I assume that. Uh, all right, so let's go to the flash for today. We're 15 minutes away and we've probably got a team in out. So we'll quickly run through this and we'll have a look at that. So today we've got two batters, a bowler or all around a team Afghanistan, which I think threw a few people out uh, and then pack of the day. Now let's jump straight into it. Now we'll talk through each slot uh, about what we've done, but I'd also love your advice and thoughts on, you know, you looking and seeing what I have available and your thoughts on it. Yeah, no worries. So here are the moments I have available for the batter slot. Um, I think that ja, like Jaswell, is that how you say it? Jaswell? Yeah, J Jaswell. Jaswell, there you've got it. I think he's almost a lock-in. Would you agree? Like he's going to get yeah. a good bat. He's an epic, um, pretty good numbers here. Yeah, opening the batting, he'll... Um, he'll be in a pretty good position plus compared to the other commons he's just going to stack some nice static points for you yeah exactly um, and, and yourself who have you got in that first batter slot I, I, i've gone exactly the same way i've got uh Jaiswell there yeah okay and then number two for me we've got realistically probably a two-way uh between butler and conway yeah now this is where could get a little bit funky if you wanted to, given we do have the swap. Mm. Um, personally, I think Rajasthan are going to do a number on Chennai tonight. So I would just, like, I'll probably be stacking my side with just Rajasthan players. Uh, but if you wanted to and you wanted to, to take your option there, you could go with someone like Conway. And if he does fail, you could always use your swap to to plug in Butler. Yeah, totally. I I feel like I almost allow for that swap. So if one of them fails, you can swap in. So if J uh, Jason Whale failed, I could swap in my Butler. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Who have you got for your second one? Yeah, I, I've gone with Sandju Sampson. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Again, a little bit higher static points, and he's just started to find a little bit of form the last couple of games. Yeah. The the thing that makes me a tad uncomfortable with it is um Chennai are batting first. Yeah, I just saw they that. They don't have a hell of a lot of op options um for us to pick tonight, so it's it's entirely possible when when your players are are playing second, you lose that flexibility to swap. You kind of have to if someone fires in the first innings, you can by all means swap them in, but I'm always a little bit more comfortable if the team that I'm uh, trying to stack my side with bats first, because then if I do make a mistake or someone does uh, fail, I've, I've got the flexibility of knowing what that outcome is and swapping out. Yeah, agree. So I, I think for that reason, I might go Conway just because we're going to get to see him bat. And if he does fail, I can go Butler. If he doesn't, he's actually got higher stats anyway. Yeah, that, that serial is a, probably a nicer one to play. Uh, it's, mm. it's the way I'd go looking at the the options you've got there. Yeah, cool. All right. Now, bowler. Um, probably bolts a no-brainer, but it could be the type of deck uh, Mahesh might like. Yeah, I'm not even sure if he's he's playing. Let's have a look. Yeah, Teek Shan is not playing. Oh, there you go. Oh, that makes and sense. So really, your only option <laughs> there is to play Bolt. <laughs> what about yourself? Who have you got? Uh, I, I locked in Bolt a long way out. And yeah. The only other person I would have perhaps considered if I had him would have been Ravi Ashwin. Yeah. Um, do have a Chahal, but 
I just think Bolt up front with the new ball could uh, do a bit of damage tonight. Perfect. All right. Let's dive over to the all-rounder. This is where it gets a bit interesting. Mm, especially with CSK batting first, right? Yeah. Mm, so it means that Ali's going to get a good hit, potentially. Yeah, so really there's only two options here. You go with Moen Ali or you go with uh, Rian Parag. Mm. Uh, neither of Nisham or Bravo are playing. Oh, well, at least he's got good NFT level for yeah, Parag. Being that level three, I do. And you got a nice serial there. It, it's probably an option... Uh, I just don't think he's going to get too much of a batting chance at six. to have an impact. I would be going with Moeen Ali. Have they been bowling, Parag? Can't say I'm 100% sure on that one. Oh, I know he has been batting a fair way down the order. I'll have a look at their last game and see if they've actually bowled him. This is good because it kind of gets gives the people an idea on what we look at. Okay, so last game he didn't. He didn't play at all, did he? Oh, wait. Oh, no, he did. He played, but he didn't bowl. So, yeah. yeah. So, you're probably right. Ali's going to get a much better crack, isn't he? He's going to bat and he's going to bowl. And I think he is probably the the way to go there. And if he if he fails miserably, you, you could always pull the trigger and go to Parag. But I just... I'd, if you're talking about in in reality, two pretty different class of players. Moen's got a bit of class about him, and uh, Parag's sort of just making his way in the game. He's a he's a young fella, fairly impetuous, but uh, still earning his stripes. Yeah. So, uh, have you gone Moen as well? Yeah, I did originally have Nisham, but they've uh, dropped him this game to bring back Hetmeyer. Yeah, I did see that as well. Yeah, do, do, do you have him? Were there thoughts of putting him in a batsman slot? Uh, yes and no. Um, particularly, probably less likely now that they're um, batting second. If they, if if the bowlers get a run on and sort of run through Chennai tonight, it could be over pretty quickly. Mm. And uh, then you've got Butler. And Jaiswal at the top of the order, they could make fairly short work of the chase. And then Sampson coming in at three. So I, I try to stay away from guys who bat in that five, six slot like Hetmeyer totally. tends to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I think for me, I'm still open, uh, open to buying someone if I have to. But like you said, for Hetmeyer and Sampson, it really would have only been if they were batting first and they got runs then I could buy and swap them in, but it kind of takes that out of play now, doesn't it? Yeah, that's that's the tricky part with the the teams batting first. Oh, and right. it, it being Chennai, and we really only have a couple of viable options. I'm seeing this error here. Hopefully it doesn't stay around. Um, but I'll probably get this team in pretty soon. So Team Afghanistan. Now... Um, I haven't done any marketplace evaluations. Have you had a chance to have a look? Or I can't say I looked too closely on this one today. I did have a bit of a look in my, my lunch break at work, but I have a, a nice low cereal can, so it was a fairly yeah. easy decision. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. You'll definitely get the points there. The And the way it has been interesting because – the different runs on different moments have kind of uh, moved what's looking like being the second most likely uh, or the second rank in the marketplace scores. For a while, it looked like Shazad was making a run and I think that's that's cooled down and I think it was looking like Nabe last time I had a little check. I was just talking to the, the uh, creator of Token Details just before, and he said the uh, the data's been updated in the last uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, so it should be pretty up to date now. Yeah, well, I looked yesterday and it wasn't, so hopefully... It, it, 
that's probably the thing that you do have to take into account with token details is that it can be up to 24 hours out of date. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it's not a live updating system. Yeah. Well, it, it, it actually said there was lots of sales on someone that there wasn't, and I didn't go check um, when I should have very naughty of me. Um, so uh, let's, let's have a look. Hey, we might be getting one of those uh, flash challenges where it doesn't uh, doesn't lock right at the start. If this error is still going, oh, are you getting it as well? Uh, well, mine mine is submitted, but I just hopped into the Discord for a second, and I can see a lot of people saying the same thing. They're getting an error; they can't submit their side. Oh god! Oh yeah, look, I am. I'm getting this error, and the funny thing is, is that every single other day I've been submitted like <laughs> eight hours before the event. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's quickly check and make sure these numbers are right on token details. So it's saying we've got uh, 303 listed. Yeah, see, it's not quite right, is it? Yeah, no, it's, it's a little bit out. Yeah, but uh, and I think it was neighbors that was showing uh, some of the figures that were perhaps a little bit more questionable. Yeah, no, definitely. Because when I went and brought one of them, I was the only one that had brought it, and in token details said it was the best one. So learn from that. Make sure you count yourself. <laughs> and well, the other side of it is. The uh, when you count on screen, there's only um, well, you can only see a hundred sales. Oh, is that max? Is it? I didn't realize. Yeah. So, when someone has more than a hundred sales, you can't actually count them on the website. Very interesting. That, that's where it starts getting creative because you kind of have to put some faith in token details, but you're never actually a hundred percent sure what the figure is. So I don't think too much has changed since yesterday and I think he was just ahead. So I think you've got an easy level just because um, Shazad is a level three and for non-playing, that's not a good thing, right? No, it's 19. Yeah. So it kind of just means that I think Nor's going to get the, the go ahead for now. The, uh the boys have just put in the discord that the issue has been resolved. You should be able to submit now. Great. And uh pack of the day. Have you, uh, who have you gone with there? I went, went with Kumar. I think that one was a, a pretty straightforward um, run at that. And I think he even snuck a badge in there. All right. Let's have a quick look. You guys get to see the, get it live. Oh, and we've got to do the, so maybe talk us through your, um, your multipliers. multipliers. Yeah. Yeah. So I've basically just worked my way down there pretty low tonight at the highest multiplier is 1.25. Oh, wow. That's so 1.25, 1 1.2, 1.15 1 and 1.1 are our four options tonight. Very interesting. It's going to make it even closer, isn't it? They're, they're getting really close. So every one of these small decisions makes such a difference. Yeah. So w without the multiplier, the uh, some of the differences will be quite small and it, it'll give you some fine margins for error tonight. It could be the difference between a greater than 75% serial or a 25 to 75% serial. That one point could actually catapult you f a fair way up the leaderboard. Whack the 1.25 on Rashid Khan, 1.2 on Bolt, 1.15 on Jice Wall, and 1.1 on Samson. Oh, shit. Hang on. I just realized I'd left Jimmy Neesham in my side. Yeah, I did that the other night. I know I mentioned it in the group. I must have been searching through, and I was like, oh, no, I, I left the wrong one in. <laughs> so make sure you double check. Yeah, no, that's a, a good call. Lucky I did go back in to check the multipliers then. Or I, otherwise, I would have had to burn my swap just getting rid of Nisham for Moe and Ali. All right, here we go. Now we can go. Submit. And 
I think Jazzawald or, or probably Moeen for 2.5 2. for me. Um, probably Whoa. thoughts. I'll, I'll submit it and then we'll come back I, in. I, and would edit pro- it. I would probably <laughs> go with Jaiswal as your, your 1.25. Right Just now. purely because if if you load it on Ali, if he does fail, you can you don't really have a viable alternative. You've re, you've only got Parag there. Parag, yeah, interesting. And, and I guess with 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 Jazzwall, I can swap in um, Butler as well, can't I? If he doesn't go well, well, they'll be batting at the same time after the swap. Hmm. That uh, is probably the issue up. Um, what you've got, you could go with Conway, bank on him to score big. He does have that nice low serial for you. Go with if you went with Conway. If he does fail, you can then you can pivot to Butler. Yeah, Jaswell does have a nice starting as well, doesn't he? Yeah, looking at your side there, I would probably put the one point two five on. Jaiswal, 1.2 on Conway, maybe, if you want to uh, take the have the flexibility to sub in Butler. Mm. Uh, then probably 1.2 on Bolt and 1.1 on Harley. Yeah, and this, this is where it gets interesting because... I, it, it, this is where a little bit of cricket knowledge comes in. I reckon Ali's going to go well tonight. So that's kind of that difference, isn't it? And, and that's yeah. such an interesting. So, yeah. And that's, I mean, yeah, you get differences of opinion. Like uh, personally, I think Rajasthan will, will handle Chennai pretty comfortably, yeah. which is then going to give all those Rajasthan players the five point bonus for the winning side. Hmm. Yeah, and, and, and do you end up finding you will go for four players of the same team or at least three? Oh, just a wicket, by the way. Yes. Oh, gosh. Who's out? <laughs> Maybe. No, it's not Conway. It's okay. the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bolt got a wicket. So here we go. Oh, can I still change my multiplier? Let's get Bolt in there. Um. Man, I must be psychic. I think I just said put a multiplier on bulk. Yeah, you did. All right, let's see if we can. Um, maybe my 1.2 on Bolt, my 1.25 on Jazwell. Uh, I think Nor will actually get. What's second? Is it 18 marketplace points for second? Uh, it's, it's 20. Oh, for second. Oh, yeah, so he's actually got first. pretty good stats, really, doesn't he? Yeah, if he does get second, it's not too bad. Mm. But that uh, those marketplace rankings are probably the ones I've been the least certain on outside of Rashid Khan getting number one. Yeah. yeah pretty much yeah. since it started, well, since I figured out how it worked. All right, let's see how we go here. <laughs> Am I in time? Yes, I am. Okay, so that is the advantage with, you know, it sounds like they probably are allowing for people a little bit more time. Um, so we have been able to put Bolt on a higher multiplier. And even if Conway got out, it would have been a bonus, really. So at least... Yeah, I could, it would have been able to... Yeah, swap then, um, yeah. Well, last night I had Shubman Gill and we had the, the late lock due to a couple of technical issue, issues and Gill... Gil got out in the first or second over and I managed to quickly sub him out. Mm, and it's the same for Ali here or Conway. Both of them are in my side. So hopefully if one of them gets out, I can do a free swap. <sighs> yeah, well, that that's the, I guess, the benefits of the people who are going to be actively engaged in it and, and really watching along the games. You, you can get that little advantage on these odd occasions where, there's been a couple of technical difficulties and the, the team have left us open just a little bit longer to, to help get some of those people who were having the issue to get their team submitted and get as many people in. You don't want people spending money on a pack of the day 
or potentially a flash pack or going and buying some other NFTs, spending all this money and then uh, getting told, oh, nah, sorry, we had technical difficulties, but uh, you still miss out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I think like I've been involved in a lot of crypto, um, more crypto projects and these guys really are nailing it. They're doing such a good job. They're, they're listening to the community. They're making changes on the go. They're sticking to their deadlines. And then you see some people come in and complain or spread fart and it's just not like they're doing amazing, especially in comparison to what else is out there. Yeah. Like uh, my sort of main exposure or my foray into NFTs was through NBA top shot. And then, uh, yeah, coming coming across from that into this, it's sort of chalk and cheese. The the Top Shot team cop a lot of flack, some right, some wrong, but for a, sort of a series of mistakes where I don't think we can really fault anything that the Fan Craze team have done. On the odd occasion, there there has been an issue. They've been really quick to to try and rectify it and make things right with any users that have been affected by it. So. And they're, they're super agile. Like we've seen Flash has been out for a week. They've already changed the scoring system once based on feedback from the community uh, to try and level the playing field a bit. I ran an experiment the other night. Um, I transferred my cousin some money to buy a Flash pack and a pack of the day because he wasn't going to participate in the Flash at all and got him to pick a side with... Um, essentially just flash NFTs to see if he could win a prize. Yeah. Uh, I think he finished one point outside of the prizes without uh, uh, a flash NFT. And that was the night that uh, Quinton de Kock went mental and we, he didn't have a multiplier on him. If he'd had the multiplier on, on Quinton de Kock, it would have catapulted him into the prizes. Um, yeah. It might've been a, a seven dollar fifty or a ten dollar bonus reward, but it's still something. I think there's plenty of capability for for people who only have, say, common moments or don't have a wide variety of moments. You can still compete based on the the extra emphasis on performance. Mm. Um, and it and it doesn't take long if you start winning twenty dollars, ten dollars here, twenty dollars there, and you earn. You like you win somewhere between 10 and say $40 a week. You could pretty quickly turn that into, um, well, you do that over a couple of weeks, say over a month, that's a couple of hundred dollars. You can use that to, to expand your collection pretty quick. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. Um, what's been your best cash so far? Uh, I finished third the other night. Uh, which was a, a nice three hundred dollar collect. So good. Um, I, I've hit. I've managed to hit every flash so far, ranging from a couple of middle of the table finishes with a like a twenty dollar collect. But I have had two sort of uh, right up there kind of good collects. With uh, I think I finished third one night and fifth another night. So good. So it has been uh, quite, quite a good little earner for me personally, but I know there's some other guys out there who have uh, performed even better. Like you see some names up there fairly regularly and they're, mm. they're names that are also spend a lot of time in the discord, which is really good to see people who are active in the community doing their thing and, and getting some nice reward. And, consistently finishing in the the top say 15 yeah um, looks I, like i got marketplace wrong there <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh dear whoops i wonder i wonder who got how many points did you get for your um khan it should be 25 let me just hop in there but total cuz he's got good rarity good uh, it should be 90 should be 95 I'm expecting. So good. That's such a good start, isn't it? Yeah. It, it makes a big difference when you can lock those kind of points in. Massive. And it just sucks that I had all the other ones. 
but I think it's it, it's good that like I haven't like I've made a few mistakes when I've been making my videos and it's not a bad thing because they get to see me make the mistakes and hopefully everyone learns from them yeah and it's it it's pretty good just to go through the process and and see what's going to come up um so, see how easy it is I I sort of fat fingered a swap last night I was trying to swap out Matthew Wade before I went to sleep and I, I accidentally fat fingered my uh, Coley out of the side. Oh, <laughs> no. a, a big balls up considering he then scored 70 oh. and it, uh, it, it cost me about 25 spots on the leaderboard. Yeah. Wow. Looks like Conway's and off it. to a good start. Um, so yeah, the, I don't have the full leaderboard yet, but yeah, Rashid Khan has uh, locked in 95 points with the 1.25 multiplier. Yeah. So that's a, a really nice start. Uh, I'm pretty happy go. with that. We're off. We're off, I think. Let's see where you are. Um, German, do we know who he is? He's always up there. I feel like I might know who it is, but <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, he is always up there. There you are. You're ninth, so uh, starting. Good work. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and and but we did speak about it. I was very tempted to buy a Khan, just because he's going to play a lot. Um, and I think it just shows like those those locked in points are just so valuable. But um, it's good that we have different teams for the night. <laughs> yeah, well, it does. Uh... That that's probably where things can get a little bit skewed, like some of these guys, and I guess myself included in that, who have uh, won a, a reasonable amount of money so far in the flash, do have that little bit more flexibility on, say, a day like, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday that Brevis was the mm. the top uh, top option for the marketplace spend. Yep. Did you buy you one? No, nah, I didn't. No, yeah, uh, I was pocketing that money to go on a little bit of a spending spree today. <laughs> but um, I did already have a Pollard, which was number two. But yeah. it does get if you do get on a roll and have a couple of nice collects, you can sort of roll that momentum into the next challenge and use your winnings to to upgrade a cereal or to buy a a moment that you don't have if it's proving to be a, a valuable one. Like we saw a massive run up on Alyssa Healy mm. uh, the night that we needed the woman's NFT just because uh, when it first launched, Sophie Devine was uh, far and away the, the leading option there. And she was s still pumped up from the, the day she was able to be used, I think as a New Zealand player. Mm. Uh, where she got the 25 points. But the the community worked out pretty quickly that if there was a run on buying Healy's, they, like we could uh, essentially swing that, those positions. And it worked out that we got right into a position where about three hours before the flash, um, we were at a spot where one more sale of Healy uh, Healy was in first spot, but one more sale would have increased the average sale price by too much to uh, uh, lift that 50% cutoff price. Mm. And it would have excluded two or three other sales and knocked her back down to second. So it was, it was really fine margins. It was quite fun to watch, to be honest, because you watch all these Healy's get bought up through the day and that percentage change and, you know, okay, cool. We've just taken the, just taken the lead with Healy, which was great because I, I had one of those. And then we're in a spot where it's okay. We can't have any more Healy's sell before the game starts. But if another divine happens to sell, divine will go back to number one. So it was, everyone was kind of on edge. Yeah, 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 I'm with you. And, and the interesting thing is, is like, as far as women's cricket and stuff goes like that, I'll be honest, I've never watched a full game, but I probably will now with these challenges. Um, we, we'll probably end up watching a lot of cricket that for me as an Aussie, I wouldn't have normally watched, but now I'm probably going to take an interest and watch some of this. 
yeah, our, our women's side is really good. They're, they're actually, well, they're very entertaining to watch. They, they tend to put on a show. They've got some, some really, really good quality players. Oh, Ali's going to town. I told you I had a good feel about Ali. He is oh, going go. to town. Jesus. Well, that's good. Three fours and a six. There's 18 runs. There's already, what's that, 15, 20, should be 35 uh, dynamic points. Well, in the dynamic point mm. scale, yeah. which would have him leading at the minute. Yeah, and and it's and I this is something I've been getting more and more into is like working out as they get past the fifteen runs. Okay, now we're on this level and stuff like that. Do you find yourself watching that? Yeah, uh, yeah, particularly late in the first innings where you're trying to work out who to swap. Yeah, uh, you just sort of crunch the numbers to go. Okay, has this guy scored four boundaries? Was his strike rate over one hundred and thirty? Uh, did he score enough runs to get into the next tier? What about this guy who's who scored the same amount of runs? Uh, we had a game early in the week where I think four players ended up with 25 dynamic points because they all scored between 40 and 50 runs. Yep. Um, which I'd never actually considered. I always figured it would be okay. One player will get 25, the next will get 20 and so on and so forth. But you all tie on the same score in the, like within the way that they generate the dynamic points. Mm-hmm. It, uh, it creates, well, it creates a tie and, and all four players got 25 points. Yeah. I'll refresh this and see if it's up to date. So we'd have Bolt who would have some and Ali is now above it. Is he? Yeah, he is. So yeah. Conway's just sneaking up on it. So, yeah, Bolt's got the 25 at the moment and Ali's got the 20. Very interesting. And then Conway. So, look, at least I'm I'm definitely in the money early as far as, like, these guys go. We've picked well. Um, but, yeah, I think what's really let me down is not working out the marketplace points. Uh, today, but that's okay. We're in a bit of a rush. I think I was actually lucky to get it in in the end. Um, but uh, yeah, look, live and learn. And um, what are your thoughts for, like, there's no real way other than for me, I've kind of got one from every country now, as far as like allowing for tomorrow's challenge could be Australia. You know what I mean? Like having one for each country. Is that something you've done? Yeah. So with my collection, I've actually ended up with one of every common and every rare moment so far. Oh, nice. So I'm pretty well stocked there and I've got a, a reasonable amount of epics. I don't have any of the real top line stuff, but I've got a lot of the, I guess, what we call lower tier epics. Um, but yeah, if you're trying to, if you're trying to pre-plan for a flash challenge, you would then... Yeah, probably start looking at try and look at low circulation moments. Like yeah. I've got a little spreadsheet that I I keep uh, on my laptop that uh, after each pack drop, when I or when I do my my pack drop uh, EV calculations that I put out in the blog, um, it keeps the circulation updated. So the first thing you do is try and find players from the countries or players from each country with the lowest circulation or lowest percentage of circulating moments. Yep. They're usually your starting point because they don't need as many sales to, to score well. Um, and then, yeah, just trying to have a nice diverse portfolio that like, uh, Prince the whole time in the lead up to flash launching was saying that this, this utility was going to reward collectors who, who have a, a diverse and well-rounded portfolio and i think that's what it does with with some of these non-playing slots mm. like we're going to get australia soon enough we're going to get england soon enough we're probably going to get india soon enough um so yeah having a and they don't even necessarily have to be perfect even like for someone like well, south africa and we know that brevis is currently the the leading moment there 
Mm. You don't have to chase it if you, or if you can't swing that kind of money or don't want to because you're, you're not too keen on spending $600 on a, a 19 year old player. Mm. You yeah. can, you can go, okay, well, I think this guy is going to be second and just, just roll with that and accept the fact that you, you might get 20 points instead of 25. It's not the end of the world. You can mm. make up those five points. Like if it's a difference of say $500 in the price of the moment that finishes second and gets 20 points, like that's a, a fairly big chunk of money and that could be used to, to help you gain those five points somewhere else anyway. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. As for the Aussies, do we think Glenn McGrath will be the top marketplace? Cause he's only got 22 on the market and quite a few sales actually. Yeah, I think so. Um, which, which is tough because well, I don't have one. Yeah. I've been there. <laughs> Yeah, but, right. but I think I don't. I think there would need to be a lot of sales of someone like maybe Adam Gilchrist is the one that I could see running him down. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. But I haven't. I also haven't looked through the rares yet. Yeah. Ponting. No, there are. Yeah, even Ponting, but he's he hasn't had many uh, sales so far. What about Warner? He would have had a lot of sales because he's playing, wouldn't he? Yeah, that that could be a, a little smoky to to get there mm, maybe warner let's have a quick look while we're let's check the score oh they're cruising oh ali's sending it oh at least i've got it on the channel me saying i just got a feeling ali's gonna have a good night because he's dominating it's it's nice when something like that comes off <laughs> uh, that, and, and and we'll look back through there was the point where i had him as my top multiplier as well damn it <laughs> uh, all right so let's have a look at warner is we uh, count the number of sales and then divide it by the this total number. Is that right? Oh, hang on. Sorry, I was I, I minimised the screen for a sec while I was trying to. That's all right. Get my uh, spreadsheet up. Yeah, so I might even hit that hundred. Count up your sales, and then it's the the combination of the moments for sale plus moments not for sale. So basically everything that's been pulled out of a pack so far. 79, we are. We're going to hit the 100. So that's where we don't know. But you would have to think, Warner's going to be a smoky then. He is definitely an option. Wow. One that I've just noticed here, and I wonder if this oh, there's a $10 good. sale for him. Are you serious? Yeah. Which would be excluded because that would be below 50% of the yeah, total price. Cheeky buggers. Um. The lowest, I wonder if this is right because I was just looking at my own spreadsheet here that's got all my circulation counts and it's actually got Hazelwood as a, a potential option here. Oh. Yeah, so he's only got 168 circulating at the moment. Yeah, 168 in circulation, so 9.5% of his total. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I, I actually sold one of him to get a higher serial number. And then looking at the serial number, I think it was like minimum $100 because there was only one, I think, but it may be worth it. Let's well, 225 times let's have a quick count. Five times 25%. So top 56 it would need for Warner to get a good serial. So we're looking at minimum 385 not too bad, actually, realistically. 385. And I'll go to Hazelwood as well. Yeah, okay. I don't think he quite runs down McGrath, but he's a moment that... That could actually be driven by the marketplace, I reckon. There's mm. enough for sale that could actually drive that uh, count closer to McGrath's, but I think it's it still might be a bridge too far to run down. McGrath is up close to 80% on uh, his 
his ratio. Mm. He's oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, he's absolutely going to town on Bolt too. No way. Yeah. Take that. Wow. 19 ball 50. That is insanely fast. Oh, and another four as well. (gasps) Jesus. 13 boundaries. Yeah. Holy hell. So this is where it changes who could win the game, right? As far as you you could be looking to swap. Like for me, it could be Conway for... Uh, no, sorry. Um, oh, gosh, that makes it hard, doesn't it? Yeah, you could, you could... I see what you're trying to say. You could definitely go through and you've got... You're at two and two at the moment from memory. Mm, mm. So you can pivot either way. If you still think Rajasthan are going to win, you can go to three and one on Rajasthan or if you think the Super Kings are going to have too many, like too many runs on the board, which chasing runs has been hard the last few days in the IPL, uh, you can, you could swing either bolt or you can't really swing bolt out because there weren't any other viable bowling options. Mm, I'd have to buy one. Uh, but you, you could. But at least he's got a wicket. <laughs> yeah. Or you could go with Jaspal well, yeah. out, mm, but there's no, there weren't really any other batsmen that could come in mm. unless you went and bought a Dhoni. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, super interesting. And, and, and yeah, okay. All right. Well, it's certainly shaping up as a good game. Uh, and that's the cool thing is we're getting to watch a lot of good games of cricket. That one the other night came down to the last ball was very good to watch. Yeah, well, there are a few in a row. There was a game decided by three runs and then the next night the game was decided by two runs. And they were both games that I thought were pretty much over after the first inning. So I went to bed and then woke up and went, oh, Jesus, those games got close. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, look, probably you're right. There isn't much for me to swap um, at this stage. We'll just see how we go. I guess it's still, it looks like Conway and Ali are going to get good points. Um, so, if anything, maybe I should have oh, had Conway as my one out that I could swap in for Jaswal, but it's all good. We'll uh, We'll see how it all unfolds. I'm just keen... I'll, I'll I'll cash each night and I'll and I'll have a big one at some stage. Yeah, that last over from Bolt went for twenty six. <laughs> so now now he's in a position where he's going to cop the negative multiplier on his yeah. dynamic points. Yeah, he already has uh, within within the um the scale there because he's going to get the more than eleven runs and over. Yeah. And cop the so times 0.75. 0.75. Yeah. Yeah. 0.25 off. Yeah, yeah. 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 Interesting. All right. Well, it certainly got me thinking about the um, MP tomorrow. Look, I guess I already have a Gilchrist. So it is hard to fork out a couple of hundred dollars when you have someone that's good, especially because he's a maestro. So I'm getting extra points for that. He's an NFT level one. So I'm getting good points for that. So it is hard to buy when you've got. Something. See, see, your maestro only factors in for your flash challenge, like your flash cards. Your, oh, oh your I thought class, it was non-playing. Oh. Yeah, your class, non-playing flash cards is where your class comes into it. That's why it's always in yeah. pack of the day. Yeah. For, yeah. Uh, for the, just the normal non-playing slot, you get a uh, level, rarity, and serial, like normal. Then you get your marketplace points and badges for the pack of the day slot. So your non-playing flash, you get serial, oh. and you Plus. get rarity. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Then you get the uh, the the dynamic points instead of it being marketplace because you can't trade those on marketplace. They're driven by the NFT class. 
Yeah. Okay. I see that there. Yeah. I haven't even gone that deep. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very good to know. Um, and have we got any badges for Gilchrist? Oh, we do. So yeah, look, he's not a bad option. Even if he comes top three or four in marketplace points, he's still going to go all right. Who's, yeah. who, who's your best Aussie? Um, on, on paper, I think it would probably be Ricky Ponting. I've yeah. got a, a fairly low serial one, but I've got Gilchrist there as an option and also Warner. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Oh, you've got Warner. Okay. Yeah. Look, I think he could be up there. Um, he's got a lot of sales. Yeah. I'll, I'll deal with that when and if they, <laughs> they eventually uh, decide to use Australia as as a yeah the non-playing slot. Awesome. All right, man. Well, I think that um, maybe we'll just quickly go through your your vlog is this the latest one i've got up here yeah so i dropped that one just this uh or just tonight not too long before the the toss just to well well a i needed time to type it but b uh give give the people a, a little bit of something to read while we wait for the the start of the game so it's and it's basically just gone through the first week of the flash, how it's affected the market, like the, I track with my spreadsheet, I track the circulating market cap, which is the, the floor price of all the moments multiplied out by their circular, how many moments they've got released. So that's uh, what at, at the last blog, which was just over a week ago. Um, just to kind of dispel some of the FUD around market prices dipping, I, I've dug into the numbers to figure out that since the launch of the marketplace, we'd risen by uh, 28.5% uh, from from the start till last week. That's now up over 50%. So the, the circulating market cap of all the moments is just over $2.6 million. Wow. That's some good growth. Yeah, up from 1.7 when the market price, no, marketplace launched. Mm. And and I guess, the, is there any way to measure how much the floors have risen? Um, yes and no. A lot of the floors, well, some floors have risen, some haven't. I don't tend to keep that kind of historical data. <laughs> um, as, I, as I update my sheet, it just rolls to whatever the current price is. Um, so, so some floors have gone down on various moments, but overall, the, the main indicator that we're looking for at this stage in the life of a project is, is market growth because yep. it's going to give us a really good indication that new users are coming or existing users are investing new money. We're not just recycling our, our own money or spreading our own money around to across more moments as, as new moments get released, which we did have a little bit as uh, we had a few pack drops pretty close and that's what, where everyone's sort of gone off. Oh, hey, the, like, the market's dipping, all the prices are, are sort of through the floor, but, when we look at it and go, okay, yeah, that's because it is spread over more moments, but the project itself has still grown, which for, for everyone that's here already and all the, the early adopters, that's the biggest thing that we want. We want to see growth. Uh, growth generally means new users and, and new money, and that is only a good thing for us. And um, yeah, guys, uh, uh, I guess one bit of it, what's your one bit of advice for someone who's just getting into fan craze? Um, I would just say, take your time and try and learn. Join the Discord. There's a hell of a lot of good people in there that are really good, valuable sources of information. You don't need to be an expert or a, a whale straight away. You can... You can take your time, build your collection slowly, make or use the data that's available to make 
I guess, what we call smarter decisions or data-driven decisions rather than just gut feel. At least that way, you know that you can be confident in your, in your decisions if you've got some numbers that back it up. 100%. All right, man. I appreciate your time. Have a good night and uh, we'll see how we go with this one. No worries, mate. Catch you later. All right. What's up, everybody? All right. It is the next day. So we're going to jump in. We're going to finish off the game that we set up with B Dando. And all right, let's go. All right. So let's dive into the results. Let's look at the first place guy. Uh, as we know, Rashid Khan was absolutely massive. So I actually did okay with selecting my players, but not having Rashid Khan and making a bad decision in his replacement, purely just because we rushed it, guys. Uh, but this goes to show rank one, $400. How to be Danto goal. Pretty good. 13th, $72 cash. Again, having that Rashid Khan was massive. Jaswal did okay. Um, and that's where, you know, it, it's he, he's done pretty well. Like cashing at seventy two dollars is great, but that can't really is like no one in the top kind of ten doesn't have a can. So um, good to know. Uh, looking at mine again, as we mentioned at the time, I did get this very wrong. Uh, outside of that, we actually did pretty well. I swapped in Butler, uh, which wasn't a good call, and I mainly swapped in Butler just as like a in case uh, he did go big. Um, because I actually did okay with my Conway. But anyway, that's all good. All good learning. I'm super pumped for tonight's game. That's the results, guys. Um, please, if we've added value, um, please subscribe to this channel. Comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Is there something that you heard in this that you didn't know? I know I learned a lot of Bedanto, and I am very, very grateful for him to come on. Make sure I'll, I'll put his links below. Make sure you go check him out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.